Good morning, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, this is just a breakdown of a little circuit that I saw um, from a poster who is going to use this as a coil driver, a sequential coil driver, for what he claims to be a free energy device, a solid state miniature QEG, if you can believe that. So I saw the circuit and I thought I would just go ahead and, and uh, breadboard it to illustrate what it does. There's a uh, 555 timer in an A-stable uh, clock configuration with the rate controlled by a potentiometer and a timing capacitor. Now this little LED right here is indicating the uh, pulses that the clock is putting out. And there's a 4017 decade counter chip there and every time the decade counter receives a clock pulse it advances the output by one uh, LED and there are a bunch of, uh, there's eight uh, PNP transistors there in a high side switch arrangement switching the LEDs one at a time so uh, eight of the outputs of the 4017 are connected directly to the bases of these NPN transistors the collectors are all commonly connected to the positive rail uh, of the circuit and then the emitters each are connected to an LED uh, dropping resistor to ground so the, uh, the intent is to substitute a coil for each one of the LEDs uh, and drive the coils in a sequence to simulate a rotation of the coil structure uh, there are 10 outputs of the 4017 though so uh, but there are only eight coils in the original design so there's a little gap uh, there's not a smooth cycling through all eight it goes eight and then one two eight one two so i put in these two leds here to show the extra unused uh, outputs of the 10 outputs of the 4017 decade counter and the pot controls the rate and I only had a 5k pot so I don't have very much rate adjustment here if you used a, a larger pot you could adjust the rate uh, through a greater uh, range and I'm using a really slow range here to illustrate how the thing runs in practice uh, I guess you would use a wider range of speed adjustment and you would use uh, much faster simulated rotation. Now, uh, here's an interesting thing. If I put in a larger capacitor here, let's see, uh, put in a larger capacitor here so that it goes very slowly you can see that the advancing of the sequence is on the falling edge of the pulse so when the pulse goes out the sequence advances by one LED and you can change that if you want right now I have pins um, 14 and 15 tied to ground if I tie pin if I take out the clock input and tie pins come out of there you I'm working at a funny angle here tie pins 13 to ground and then put the clock input to pin 14 like that now I have the clock advancing on the rising edge of the pulse when the pulse comes on the pulse advances the chip can be used either way really and in the high side switch arrangement, if you change these transistors from NPN transistors as I have them to PNP transistors, 
then of course you have an inverting arrangement and the lights all stay on but a black, a dark pulse advances one LED at a time turns off in sequence. It's a neat little circuit. Uh, I don't think that it's going to wind up being an over unity circuit when it's driving coils, but we shall see. Thank you for watching. Oh, let me put in a different capacitor here. Get that thing going. And the smaller the capacitor and the small, uh, slower the resistance of the potentiometer, the faster the sequence will go. And it'll go so fast that it just blurs into a solid blur. Thanks for watching.